Hello and thanks for tuning in to our video. My name is Chaitan and I'm with GymDev. In this video, we're going to go through Joomla 4 Alpha 11. Uh, this is a release that was done yesterday and we're just going to go to, uh, through the installation process, see what's new in there. If we look at the blog post officially from Joomla, this is what is set to be in this release. Various bug fixes from Alpha 10, a merge between 3.95 and 3.96. This is kind of unrelated, but still, uh, this is a big thing. So new backend template. Now we can actually see the new backend template. So we'll, we'll try that. And Joomla 4 now can be upgraded from Joomla 3.9. We'll try this one as well, but in a separate video because it's, it's, it's a different thing in itself. And new command line commands relating to user creation. So we won't be trying this one, but really we'll be going through what's changed and this one in particular in this video. So, so I downloaded Joomla 3, uh, Joomla 4 Alpha 11, and I have it here. Let's go ahead and install this real quick. All right. Now don't keep it admin. I just keep it because I am not going to put this online, but don't keep your username admin. That's too obvious. And these settings may be different based on your host. So, all right. Now this may take more than a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on how fast or how slow your web server is and how performance is. Mine is pretty fast, so it will be done in a few seconds. All right, so it says done. Customized installation really asks for languages, which we don't need. So we'll just skip this and then we're back. So and it's a, probably a small bug. So, you know, this this is I think this is for sample data installation. So go ahead and give this a try. See if it works. It doesn't work, but OK. All right, complete and open site. All right, so this is our new Joomla front end. Let's go log into the back. And again, this is the alpha version. So that's why we do see these bugs. Right. Oh, yeah, there's a new screen. This used to be in the center. Now we have this on the left and this, this is helpful. This is good. Oh, wow. This is exciting. And it's all Ajax based and stuff. It, it's fast. Okay. All right. Yes, always. We want to help Joomla with this uh, information. So, right. Refresh. All right. Uh, so the, the template is new. I can say these plus icons lets you add uh, users, add article, add category, add module right here. Maybe there should be a plus icon for this one as well that takes you to uploading the images, you know, maybe with the upload screen open or something like that. And for plugins and templates, uh, that takes you to the installation screen. All right, let's see what this one does. Uh, so this one, this one opens up content dashboard. Oh, okay, so now there are dashboards for these you know, sections. So we can see content has this much, but then we have the content dashboard that has all the content, content settings, workflows, custom fields, modules and media. Okay, well, modules are now in, in content, which is good. You know, back in Joomla 3, modules are in extensions. Okay, so this is good. And this is where we have all our articles and everything. And we can just add articles and categories and site modules by just clicking the plus sign I think this will take us to the new article layout okay all right this this is good okay and if we go to a menu dashboard this is our menu dashboard so this lists all the menu items I think and this lists all, oh, and all the menus and yeah this lists the menu menus and this yeah if we click here then we see all the menu items right and this, we can actually add modules here and we can manage these. So I can, yeah, this is just, you know, the Joomla module manager, but the modules are in administrator. Uh, modules are published for the administrator position. So cPanel dash menus is the administration uh, position. Oh, okay. This is, this is good stuff. Yeah. And then I can add a module here. These are all the admin modules. So. I can add any of these and they'll show up. All right. And under components, we have all our components. So 
no long menu. I know back in Joomla 1.5 and 2.5 and even 3, we had these problems. If you have too many menus installed, uh, too many components installed, you know, the menu would be like this long and it's hard to scroll through the page to see. Again, this would be like 20 or so components, which is usual on a busy website. You know, Joomla has 6, 7 by default. So, uh, but this is this is helpful. This is helpful being having a dashboard and doing all of this there. This is very helpful. All right, so we can see the banners component contact. I think we could reorder this as well. So if we wanted to move contacts up, we could say uh, cPanel components and ordering cannot be changed. Okay, let's go here content and then we go to administrator modules. All right. And then we say position none. Okay. And so here we can see all our modules. So we want to uh, do these modules. Yeah. So banners is one contact. So let's try looking for it here if we can. Maybe we can't reorder it. Uh, cPanel components. Oh, I think it's it's the whole module that shows all of this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to unpublish this. So we go to components. I think it's the whole module that does that. So if we unpublish this, and then if I refresh, you'll see all of this would disappear. So it's the whole module that sh shows all of this. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so this is one module that is used for all these dashboards, the Joomla dashboard, the system, content, help, menu, components, users. So it's one module with a different preset or layout that is used for all these dashboards. And we can publish anything to this position and it'll appear. So cPanel-components is what this position is. So we can we can actually manage that, okay. This is This is good. So now this is back, okay. If we go to users, we have, you know, managers. And again, these plus signs are helpful. And then we have the user notes, login items, fields. All right, pretty standard stuff. Under system, we have um, global configuration. This this is same, you know, from Joomla, older version, Joomla 3. And uh, install, update. Uh, we now we have Joomla update and extension. Well, this is a bit more aligned. We always we had these features in Joomla 3.9 as well, uh, but this is a bit more aligned. We can go to system information. All right, this gives us you know just the basics and database is good. So there are no database warnings and stuff. All database tables are up to date. This doesn't go away, so that's a bug. Someone's got to report that and. Apart from that, I think this 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 is a pretty exciting release, especially with this uh, especially with this menu and everything. This is pretty exciting. Uh, and, uh, all this dashboards and all these plus signs, you know, giving you the ability to add anything right from there, like creating a new user. You just click here, and you're on your way to creating a new user. Well, this should have taken to user uh, add, but okay, the task is incorrect. Okay. But I think they'll they'll fix it. They'll someone will fix it, and this should take us to a new article that seems to work. And this should take us to new category. That works. So yeah, this is this is good. All right. So that was a walkthrough for Joomla 4 Alpha 11. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and enjoy your Joomla sites. Thanks for watching.